Good evening, Agent 0060. It is good to have you back. As you know, there is a global pandemic and husbands and wives have been spending more time together than ever before. Now, husbands are walking around the home unaware of the state of sexual affairs. They don't know what is happening down there in the women's lady parts. It is a ghost town. Since the outbreak and the global pandemic, homes around the world have been buried under stress and anxiety, under the weight of tension and sexual frustration. Since the global pandemic, things have changed. Should this current state continue, then the world will be brought down to its knees. Strong walls of stress have been built compounded by mounting anxiety and sexual frustration this cannot continue anymore agent your mission is to choose if you choose to accept this is to break this wall down intimacy is needed the stress that has been carried and on the weight of the shoulders of the men needs to go so agent you need to gather as many of your counterparts as you can all women around the world choose as many as you can. This wall of frustration, this wall of tension and frustration from the sexualness and the steams coming off the bodies and the workings of the bodies that need to be touched. Break it down, slowly. I need you to infiltrate the system. I need you to get deep within, under the skin of the men. Make them feel as though it is their idea. Make them feel good, make them feel sexy. It is your job to flirt. Flirt until you cannot flirt anymore. Flirt until you make a black man blush. Your agent, your mission, should you choose to accept it. That is your brief. Go out and flirt. That's it. That's all. Message will self-destruct in five, four, three, two. people welcome back to my channel i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things the show where you send me your questions and i'll let you know how i do things now you can take it as advice or view it as entertainment use it don't use it it is completely up to you now you know here's the thing when you are single it is so easy to flirt it is easy you are just radiating this energy of i'm available look at me get single get sexy touch me look at me talk to me hi but when you have been in a marriage or a relationship for a very long time it's just like how do you even flirt what is that thing flirting i don't know the furthest i can go is smack a bum but that's that's as far as i go how do you switch on that that energy you know being in the house and switching on that energy of take me now i want you how how huh <laughs> flirting becomes something that's a little foreign when you get married especially if you've been married for a while or you've been in this relationship for a while when you're single it's easy it's on you're available so you act available you're no longer available you're married so how is this actually going to work so this is a date night challenge video no you know what that means i'm going to give you a challenge for you and your man for the week you have to go out and complete it and when you're done you have to go to my instagram at kopanashimange and let me know i'll give you more details about that at the end of the video but if you have any questions that you want to send to me head over to kopanashimange and this picture over here is on my insta story highlights reply and let me know what question or scenario you want me to talk about in our next video but let's not waste any more time let's get into the 411 how do we actually flirt with our husbands how do you flirt with a man that you've known and you've been off the market for a while how are you going to do it i mean you've caught the fish the fish has been officially and successfully caught what more do you have to do to keep this fish feeling and looking sexy i mean come on man okay so here's the thing flirting flirtatiousness is actually a form of sexual energy okay so you can release this energy all day long and if you learn how to master the sexual energy then your man will be ready to pop i mean come play time i mean when it's time to go down when it's play time your man will be so 
him up with all of this sexual energy that he'll be ready to go come playtime but how do you become the master of flirtation how do you get the phd in flirtatiousness how do you raise your levels of flirting right until the top let's get into those tips and tricks of becoming the flirtmeister in your house one at its core flirtation is positive complementary energy before you even get to your eyes and what you wear and how you look and what you say flirtatiousness is all about positive complementary energy so if you go around all day just complimenting people that is actually a form of sexual energy complimenting a person how they look how they feel how they wear something on their energy that is a form of that sexual energy that you can release it is all about being open towards it when you're open towards something your chest is out your arms are open you are leaning in towards the conversation and into the person and that's how flirtation begins the good positive complementary energy so look for ways to compliment your man start small make it innocent always have your body open because you want to be open to give compliments and you want to be open to receive the compliments if you start with this from right at the beginning of the day with your man by the end of the day he'll be feeling so good and that sexual energy would have been flowing in a very light way between the two of you and that's how you then start to build the levels of flirtation within your marriage number two flirtation happens on different levels there's different types of flirtation so you first start with the mental like i said it is very positive so you want to have a positive attitude and positive energy waking up in a good mood and helping someone else to be in a good mood is a level of flirtation the most basic and the most easiest and sometimes it can go without being actually seen or felt but it comes and it builds up so it is something that maybe might just fly by you but you will still have that feeling building up inside of you so starting off with that mental positive energy when you wake up is a good way to start with flirtation on the most basic level flirtation is also emotional so the feelings of love the feelings of feeling good emotions that bring in that flirtation feelings of lust as well are built in within flirtation so having that emotional connection with somebody from a positive energy from a good vibe from a good energy remember flirtation is about sexual energy that has been passed between people and when you're there from an emotional and a mental point of view you are in a very good place to start flirtation is also obviously verbal what you're saying to the other person now a very easy way to flirt with someone is to go for the stereotypical ways of complimenting a person what comes out of your mouth is a very easy way to flirt with someone so if you're going to compliment someone of the opposite sex go for things that speak to his manliness and if you are a man watching this for some reason go get your wife you're not supposed to be watching this but anyway since you're here flirt with a person by complimenting their feminine attributes and that is what starts to work on flirtation from again another basic and easy entry-level way of flirting then it is physical having your body in an outward open way where you have an open chest that is showing that you're open to giving good energy and also receiving good energy how you look a person dead in the eyes how you soften your eyes smiling as well as accentuating the female figure which is the s now i don't know if you guys notice i don't have the most curvious body but i can still accentuate certain parts of my body by standing certain ways so flirtation happens on different levels how you feel your attitude if it is positive what you're saying to the person and obviously also from a very physical point of view flirtation happens on all of those levels all right let's get into the nitty-gritty of flirtation number three everything about you can flirt everything from your hair your hairline can flirt your smile your look 
your face, everything, your tone of voice, your energy, your nails, the hair on your legs that you have not shaved can flirt. So you want to tap into everything that you can use to be working on your side when you are flirting. Like I said, when you start from a physical point of view, which is a non-verbal form of communication, then you are starting to flirt. Having your shoulders back and your chest forward is a good way to open yourself. Flirtation is opening up to give energy and to receive it then it is always accentuating the s of your body it is eye contact which is the physical part of flirtation and then obviously it is touch the more you are able to gently touch your partner that is now when the energy is being transferred from a physical point of view we have been looking at our man we have been complimenting our man we are in a good mood we have put our hair and we pulled it back this is something that we don't always do as women we think that we look better with our hair down and in front of our faces but often you will find that men are more turned on when the face is open and out we may think that we have a nice swoop, mysterious swoop in front of our faces, that that may be a good way to flirt. But actually having that full face of attention on our husbands actually is such a good way to put ourselves forward and to flirt, right? So pulling up and pulling back any hair that you may have, good way to start flirting. Pulling back the shoulders, forth with the bosom, back with the bums. That whole situation is a physical flirtation and then when you start to compliment him letting him know that his skin looks good today that that jacket makes his shoulders look really good makes you want to just lean your head on his shoulders that there's something about his energy today that makes you feel good that he's making you smile today all of those things i mean me saying those things made you feel good ne? don't lie say it in the comments <laughs> i flirted with you and you just don't know it ah. But that's how flirtation works. You can even flirt with a woman because of the way that you are complimenting her. So all of those things are such simple ways that you flirt with a person, but it happens. And the more you are conscious about your energy when you wake up in the morning, that you are going to put on perfumes and scents that actually have floral notes instead of earthy and musky notes because the more light and florid and more airy the smells of your perfumes are the more romantic they are the more you pull your hair back the more you accentuate your decollete or decolletage then you start to flirt with your body and with the scent everything sense of smell touch what you hear all of those things are elements that you can use to flirt. So with the women, you want to have them soft and sensual and you want the certain things that are important to come out. So that red lip also is something that you can use as a physical touch to have that flirt. And finally, when you put your hand on his shoulder, on his arm, on his back, his lower back or on his thigh, girl, that's when you are raising the stakes of flirtation. Number four is to find your specific flirtation style. Now, the cute and shy and coy way of flirting is not for everyone. Everybody's different. So we don't all have to act shy. Hey, man, you have to find your own style. Some men love it when women take control. So when you step forward into a situation and you are upfront about what it is that you like or what you want from your man, that may turn him on. However, with some men, they like the shy coy type of flirtation so you have to try and to experiment so go in the morning wake up ready to flirt so you're going to make sure you have a positive energy you're going to have a positive attitude you're going to compliment your man and then you're going to touch different parts of his body on different days to see which one actually triggers that positive energy as soon as you receive that positive energy back that flirtation back from your man that's when you know that hey write this in the book that this method works then you move on to your next method so you want to see does he like it when i take a little bit more control when i am being obvious about my flirtation or does he like it when i have a little bit of my own sideways ways of flirting with him does he like that better find your style and then you move on from there and that leads me to number five as always i always leave the best for last let's get into it
Okay, so I'm going to give you five things that you can actually go do right now to flirt with your man and you need to see how well they work. And this is all part of the challenge. You have to try all five and see how your man reacts and rate it from one to five. Which one works best for you? One being not was with the K and five being it work like a bomb. You know that something's working for you if you can feel the flirtation return. So remember, flirting is sending energy out and flirtation works when that energy returns to you because that's what usually happens when people receive compliments when they receive positive energy there's something about the human body and the emotion and the mind we feel as though we owe you now that you flirted with me i have to flirt with you back i feel weird right that's what gets awkward when someone flirts with you and you don't want to flirt back you're just like Ugh. you feel awkward but if the flirtation goes both ways it feels good so you're going to try all of these five and let me know which one worked for you and how well did it work so number one rated one to five number two rated one to five let's get into the five ways that you can flirt with your man because this is the challenge for the week okay so the first one is body language so this is quite a simple one so you may not be paying attention to your posture you may not be paying attention to your shoulders your slouch anything like that so you want to wake up and work on your body language and this is something that you can do quite consciously and then afterwards it becomes something that is extremely natural so this is one of the easiest ways that you can start to have open body language and flirtatious body language the first is with your shoulders right so so you want to wake up and roll your shoulders back and leave them where they land at the back so i'll show you here excuse my mic when you wake up you may have a slouchy body so when you have your shoulders you roll them back it lifts the bosom and the shoulders go down opening the neck and the decolletage which is the area of flirtation for women so just rolling your shoulders back lifts the bosom lowers the shoulders exposes the decolletage works like a bomb so this head of yours always keep that distance looking down you may think that that actually gives you that sultry look but actually looking up gives you that energy opens up again the shoulders and the decolletage and for many women this is where we then start to receive from this perspective then you're going to want to move down to the rest of your body shaping your body like an s my figure works best when i cinch in my waist so you want to wear whatever works for your figure to accentuate the s so if you need to pull up that push up bra to put the top of the s cinch in the waist if that works for you or cinching in at a lower part of your body i prefer extreme high waist so super high waist and some people may have a mid rise whichever works for you to accentuate the s and every time you stand put one foot in front of the other because what that does as compared to standing like this putting one foot in front of the other pops a hip and lowers another and moves the top of the body to the side and this is then what creates the s so the s can go both from the front and from the side and you always want to remember that s because this is then what accentuates the feminine sexy energy so s for sexy and this is what you want to carry around all day always having your shoulders open whoever you are talking to and always having that open decolletage area and always remembering to have one foot in front of the other even if it's just a little bit because then it accentuates that s and all day you'll just be working flirtatious energy just sexual energy just radiating off you the second way that you can actually physically flirt to somebody is the cloud nine smile this is somebody who seems as though there's a good movie or a good song playing on your in your mind the entire time and this then relates back to the subtle smile so the cloud nine smile is something that you want if you see somebody else who's like this you literally just want to go to them and say can i have some of your energy please can i have it so the cloud nine smile is something that you do it's a mental thing and always being happy and always having this thought as if you have a positive memory in your mind and whatever you're doing and wherever you're going you always have this subtle smile because you are on cloud nine so the way that you do this is that you have a thought in your mind and everything that you do throughout the day you have that thought playing in your mind if it is a song you can have that song in your mind now this cloud nine smile evolves into a very more obvious way for you to flirt with your man 
So since you're in a very good mood and you're in the cloud nine and you have that smile on your face the continuous time, what you're going to do is as you're talking to your man or he is talking to you, you want to have a deep gaze with your man. This usually works when there's actually silence. So you guys aren't talking and you're in your own space and you're on cloud nine. And as the moment continues, you need to make sure that you are obviously on cloud nine. So you have a smile, no conversation going on. And then look at him. Still smiling, still on cloud nine. Hold the gaze for about three seconds. Laugh and look away. Now, if somebody does that to you, obvious, you're just like, how, what is going on here? you're going to want to know why you're so happy. And if you ask, you just say, hmm, I'm just happy. That is, again, subtle way for you to flirt. So, it's flirtation, my honey. Just try it. Tell me how it goes. Number three is close proximity. You just want to be here, here. Hold on, let me show you. This is your man. You are here. You just want to have close proximity to your man all the time, right? And what you want to happen is that two parts of your body needs to constantly graze your man. Close to your bosom, so as you can see, side boob action here, or you're going to have your hip touching him. Close proximity actually is the thing that builds sexual tension, right? So you're not touching him. I'm only holding this balloon because it will fly. Okay. So you want to keep close proximity at all times. So being close to him in conversation is something that's actually going to help to build that sexual tension. So having that open body language and having your bosom open towards him and scraping with the hip every now and again is actually what's going to start to look like flirtation. Sometimes you guys are talking and you're sitting on opposite ends of the couch or near the kitchen and he's on one side of the kitchen, you're on the other side of the kitchen. How about you come a little closer to him and just keep that proximity. So you don't have to be right against him, but even if you keep that little bit of space and you try and keep that space throughout the day, that is also what then builds that tension because that touch is close, but it's not a touch yet. And then again, very subtle, but very effective way to flirt. Number four, we're getting a little bit more obvious now, and that is the touch. So you could be doing all of these things all at once, right? So you have been on, you've had that open body language, you've been on cloud nine the whole day, and you've been keeping that close proximity with your man. The fourth thing that you can actually do is to touch. Every now and again, just touch. Every now and again, just touch. Every now and again, just touch. That touch is then what makes that connection, and that is where the flirtation takes a whole new level and goes on to the more physical form of flirtation. The fifth and final way that you can then start to experiment with flirting, and this takes it to the last level, which is vocal, is for you to notice and compliment your man. Make the conversation about something positive about him. Something that, again, accentuates his masculinity, speaks towards his ego, and makes him look and feel good. Those are amazing ways for you to flirt. So it all started very easy, right? It started from the physical, which is body language. It then went into the emotional, which is being on cloud nine and being happy and having that energy being radiated off you. It then got into the, you know, having that close proximity with your man, getting a little bit more physical. Then there is touch. And finally, verbal. This is where we tend to have that bit of a struggle in terms of flirtation. We're not really sure how to go about it, but making reference, right? This is now for the masters of it. If you're not going to outwardly, obviously compliment him, then make reference to anything that speaks to his masculinity of sexuality. So dropping hints about how certain parts of him would function in certain, certain circumstances. So verbal is for the masters. And the easy way to start with verbal flirtation is just to compliment him on something he's already doing. Oh, yes, ladies, I've given you the tools of weapons of mass destruction. You can go and flirt with your man, turn up that energy in the house. Look, when it comes to flirtation, flirtation is different from turning your man on. Flirtation is energy, sexual energy that you're passing to your man and you're just like, Tah. 
sexual energy here we go sexual energy and like i said you can flirt with even women by passing on that sexual energy that you can help to build for yourself if you want to accumulate that energy for yourself go around complimenting people having that posture and accentuating that body all of those things actually work towards building your own sexual energy and also giving it off to your husband now i hope that you guys are going to enjoy this challenge your challenge should you choose to accept it double o sexy is to flirt with your man try all five forms of flirtation that have been given to you today and let me know how they go head over to my instagram at kapana shimange and drop me an insta story let me know give me a tick and say i flirted with my man and this is how it went all the best to you, my beautiful 0060 agents. Until next time, I'm Kapana Shmange and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching my video right until the end. Please head over to my website, kapanashimange.com and sign up to The Gorgeous Gang. It is completely free and I'll give you a free ebook all about raising your confidence. It's something that we need to speak about because even when it comes to flirting, Confidence is a key, key, key thing. Head over there and join the community of the sexy gang. Ladies who are building themselves and becoming better every single day. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.